tutorial. So this is um, how to make a cuticle impression. All you need is a slide, um, as well as some clear nail polish, and of course, a hair. So, um, so we've, I've got a hair here, I've got the nail polish. This is the easiest thing to do, is first, um, get your nail polish um, uncapped. Uh, doing this one with one hand is fun. So you're gonna take, and you're just gonna put a small amount of nail polish onto the slide. And I would choose kind of, you know, in the middle or one end. You don't want it super thick, okay? But you can see where the nail polish is. Then you're gonna take the hair and you're going to lay the hair gently into the nail polish, okay? Sorry, you're getting a little issues with autofocusing there. You're gonna let that sit now for an extended period of time. Um, and you're gonna wait until that nail polish dries, until it gets um, tacky to the touch. Um, so if you've ever done nails before, um, which not, I'm sure not everybody has that experience, you wanna wait until it's kind of tacky to touch the outside of that nail, that edge of the nail polish. Um, if it's still tacky, um, it's probably not quite ready. You wanna lift the hair out of the nail polish once it is pretty much solidified, because otherwise that impression where the nail, or I'm sorry, where the hair is, will actually um, kind, er, kind of collapse in on itself. Think about when you're walking on really wet sand um, versus sand that is partially dry but still kind of damp. Your foot sinks into the sand that's really wet and it makes, this, the, foot, it makes the foot impression collapse on itself. So your goal is here to not allow that nail polish to collapse. So I'm gonna test it. Feels like it's getting a little tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the um, hair and I'm going to pull it out. Looks like I may have waited a little bit too long because some of the nail polish pulled up right here. But I think over here on the one side, I'm gonna have a decent impression. Now that I've turned the slide, you can see that impression where the hair was. That's what I wanna focus on um, in terms of putting it underneath the microscope. So remember, turn the light down on the diaphragm to create a lot of contrast on that impression, and then you should be able to see the scales.